Good afternoon and welcome to a, another video with me, Vince, at Modern Man Lifestyle. Thanks for joining. Okay, fellas, today what we'll be talking about is taking risks in dating. So what does that mean? That means when you're dating girls, are you taking risks? Now, the word risk itself, the connotations is, well, maybe I might lose something, maybe I might win something. And essentially, that's the kind of mindset you have to be in which is win or lose. Now, what I mean by that is the, the area you want to stay out of is that grey area. And I'll give you an example. You you talk to a girl on Bumble, Hinge, Tinder, whatever, and it's a very basic conversation. It's like, hey, how are you? What have you been up to? What do you do for work? Where do you live? It's very boring. There's no innuendo. There's no banter. There's It's not really leading anywhere exciting. And essentially, those conversations never really lead anywhere. In other instances, it might be seeing that girl walking down the street or in a coffee shop and just going up to her and, and starting a conversation, asking for a phone number. You're taking a risk, you don't know that girl. Um, but by taking that risk, you put yourself in such a higher opportunity of, of, of getting success. Now, I'll run you through a couple of examples from my own personal experience, which just demonstrates a couple of risks that I've taken. When I say risks, these aren't life-threatening risks. These aren't like, you know, hanging off a cliff edge. These are... Just simple risks which, if they don't go my way, I will probably lose the opportunity with the girl completely. However, it's my contention that it's better to take a risk and win or take a risk and lose immediately than just to keep funneling energy and effort into something that's going nowhere and it's boring. If it's boring for you, it's boring for her, um, and it's likely that you're going to talk for two weeks online and then it's not even going to amount to a date, which is just total bullshit. There's a lot of energy and effort and it's just wasted. So first one, it's a couple of years ago. I was talking to a cute Colombian girl who lived in the city I was in. We talked for maybe three, four days. We were starting to run out of things to talk to. I'd said to her, look, let's, let's get a coffee, let's get a drink. And she'd said, oh, I'm actually going away for two weeks. I'm going traveling in, in mainland Europe and then I'm coming back. You know, and she wanted to continue this kind of drivel, bullshit, you know, small talk. And I texted her, I was like, cool, enjoy your time. Text me when you're back. That was it. Now, what I did there was I showed her, I have an abundance mentality. I don't need you. I would like to meet you, but I don't need you. Uh, I let her know that I'm not going to talk utter bullshit for two weeks just to try and keep some thread of connection up for, for the foreseeable future. I'm not interested in that. Uh, and what happened, I didn't text her, I didn't speak to her. And when she came back in two weeks, she texted me saying, oh, hey, I'm back. Let's meet up. Boom. Now, it could have gone the other way. It could have been... She, she was like, oh, this guy, he's very aloof. Oh, he's not putting the effort in. You know, never go back and touch me. So what? At least then I didn't put in effort for two weeks while she was away. And it might not have even worked out like that. Another example of uh, taking a risk when speaking to a girl, speaking to a, a girl online for a couple of days, we'd organized to meet up. Uh, she texted me that morning, just said, look, I've had to work a night shift. I'm very tired. I still want to meet you. Here are days and times I can meet next week. So that was the first time she'd done that. I liked that she had given me options for other dates and times. I thought, okay, she's clearly interested. Three or four days pass. We get to the day we're gonna then meet. She texts me saying, "Look, I'm I'm really, um, I'm really sorry. I'm I'm now busy. Can we do you know another day, another time?" Uh, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm I'm busy the rest of the week. Sorry." That's all I said. Now what she was saying was, "I can make it. I can see you another time." And maybe she could. Maybe she couldn't. Who knows? But I was like, I don't need to continually try and arrange a date with you. I got better things to do. I'm a busy man. I've got an abundance of options. That's twice we've arranged and you've arranged out, so I'm off. So anyway, I didn't text her. I was very blunt with her. She then started texting me more, being like, oh, hey, I do want to meet you. When can we meet? When can we meet? And built that interest back up where I did literally nothing. She started chasing me because she realized that I was just going to walk away. And it's that power of being able to walk away from a situation say i don't need this like i'm not so desperate that i will rearrange my own time and diary three times to meet you three times so i was like no i'm out i'm busy sorry i'm a busy man and so then she started chasing me and then all of the powers in my hands to be like yeah actually i will meet you or no actually i'm pretty busy now so i actually can't meet you so when you when you're in situations with girls it's important that you you know, you say that polarizing comment on a date or on a, on a on a text. 
it's important that you you go up and you speak to that girl you met. Uh, you know, you see every co- every morning in the coffee shop before work. You just strike up the strike. Bleh, bleh. You just strike up a conversation, ask for a number. You've got to put yourself out there. You've got to take those risks. And the main reason for that is that you don't want to invest loads of time and energy into these fucking wasted opportunities and these wasted interactions with girls where, you know, it's boring for you, it's boring for her, it's going nowhere. Ultimately for guys, there's no point texting girls if they're not meeting up with you. If they're not at least going for coffee, drinks, and then on to things like, you know, sex. That's what we're aiming for. Even a girlfriend, whatever. So it's very important that you value your own time. You understand that you are happy internally. Your own value comes from inside you and that a girl is just a compliment. She's just an added extra. What that will help you do is that will help you to not be desperate. Now, you might have broken up with a girl and you just really want to get out there and I suppose the rebound. You might be really desperate. It might have been six months since you got any action. You have to be able to control, focus and center yourself and think, I'm more valuable than this. I don't need to chase a girl and try and get her on a date five times. And I'll give you an example of when I did do this. A couple of years ago, I literally, one girl, kept saying, I want to meet up with you, kept canceling on the date. Happened like three, four times. I have no self-respect. I just want to meet this girl so much. But I just kept being like, yeah, no worries, I'm free. Whatever you want, babe. All that her, in her mind was, oh, his value is low. He's not worth chasing. He's not, he's not in demand. So it's important that you do that. Final example, when you're texting girls, we want to try and make it cheeky, playful, fun. Um, a lot of the dating coaches out there will, will, will say open with lines like, I feel like you could be trouble or you look like you could be fun. You comment on something comical they've got in their pictures or, or bio, which is a little bit quirky. But but sometimes like, you're going to get girls which have just sh- shit chat, boring chat. They might be quite cute though, so you might want to you might want to put a little bit more effort in. Good example, last week I've been talking to this girl online. The chat's not really been going anywhere. Uh, it's been pretty basic, but she's cute, seems cool. So I just texted her and I was like, you know what, you're cute, but I don't usually go for blondes. This is a shout out to uh, Todd V on, on YouTube. He's he's awesome, man. I got that line from him, so I'm not plagiarizing. He's, he's awesome uh, kind of dating coach, so check him out. But anyway, that line is just brilliant. So she was like, wait, what? Oh my God. Thanks to the cute, but you don't usually go for girls like me. And it just like opened this whole new layer of intrigue and interest. Uh, and we're going to be going out for a drink in the next couple of days. So those are the type of risks. She could have just been like, oh, how rude and unmatched me. So what? So what? You have to have some cojones. <laughs> you have to be able to take those risks, be a bit playful, try new things. Uh, and the success rate and the enjoyment you're going to get out is much more. So gents, it is really important to take risks when you're dating, chatting to girls, opportunities to meet girls and get girls' phone numbers. I can't stress that enough. Don't beat yourself up when you make a mistake or you do something that girls don't like. Take it as a good thing because you've then removed them from the potential energy drain of yourself. Anyway, lads, thanks for joining. We'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment.